There's other things too. Oh, 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 the Opie thing. Yeah. Should we talk about it now or when yeah, we get you back? Should address it. Well, yeah. <laughs> I did read and I, I listened to the clip of Opie saying he was he was very disappointed in me, which you know, it doesn't have much of an effect on me as he's a grown man and I'm a grown man and a man being disappointed in me who's not blood related to me, uh, or, you know, I came from his seed isn't going to have a huge effect on me. But I mean, what, what Obi said was fair. You know, I don't know exactly what he was talking about with lying and what he was tired of, but he said, I edited the video because after Vincent D'Onofrio left our show, Vincent was saying that he was set up. He was set up by the show. I defended it saying he was not set up because I didn't feel like he was set up. He wasn't brought in. I don't think we knew Brie Bart was going to do that. We No one knew opening up. They were going to tweet that stuff. A setup implies you have knowledge that this is about to happen. We really didn't. He just happened to be in that day. And then Brie Bart came in. Uh, and then he showed us. Then the video popped up. And I was kind of, as he was in here playing devil's advocate for him, just... So he felt a little bit comfortable. But talking I, about I, it. I, well, I just, I didn't remember any video. I just didn't connect it. But then the video came up on Opie's page. Mm -hmm. we, we, can you go to the video so we can see what it says? And the video was titled. It had Vincent D'Onofrio's name in the title, and it didn't necessarily need to. It said, "Did you name the video?" No. So here's what happened. So uh, Opie said on his show, and I didn't even rem I didn't remember the video either because I guess this was the time when I was literally editing all the videos for the show. So then after the show was over, I was like, oh yeah, I guess I did edit that. And then it says right in the description that I did. So that's, I mean, I definitely edited the video because I was editing all the videos. But like he said on his show, it was my job. And it just says this. And by the way, Breitbart shares Wiener's explicit photo with Opie and Anthony and Vincent D'Onofrio. Right. So there's nothing weird about the editing of the video if you watch it. And I wouldn't have titled the video on the YouTube channel. That's not part of the editing. I wasn't running the YouTube channel. So you didn't title it? No, I never ran Opie's YouTube channel. I gave him his videos for it. So I wouldn't. I didn't title any of the videos. Anything that's on the video, if there's text on the video screen, right, embedded in the video, then I definitely would have done that in the editing. But I didn't run the channel. It was his personal channel. It wasn't the show's channel. No. The show had a channel. Right. I ran that one. It was his channel. That one was his personal all channel. All the proceeds from it. Yeah. I, um, the show's videos. All right. That, yeah. All the chip videos, you mean? Um, all of them. Oh. Uh, yeah, so I didn't title the video at all. And then I also didn't go on his Twitter account and tweet out a link to an article that said, here's why Vincent D'Onofrio is responsible for the Anthony Weiner photos being released. The fact that that tweet came from Opie's account is probably why Vincent D'Onofrio feels like he was set up. I didn't see that article or that tweet. I didn't see the tweet or article until after our show was over, but somebody, one of our listeners, tweeted it to our show account, and it's there. And when I saw the title of the video, then I was like, oh, okay, yeah. I see what like, you I didn't think that. he was yeah. set up. I, but I, is the, the title slightly exploitive of the fact that celebrities and stuff? Of course. But, but I, I, mean, I, don't I, don't, I don't have a problem with that either, but I mean, yeah. I get why he says it. Right. But yeah, I wouldn't. I didn't. I didn't title it on the YouTube. Page. Did he really tweet that? And yeah, and that's no. a real. That's a real tweet that was just that's, no. That's Googleable. He he did, but that's a headline from a Vulture article. So what he did was he shared the article and then it tweeted out the exact quote from the headline. So it's like a clickbait thing. Well, yeah, I'll show you the article. But if that came from from a, a, a show account, go back to the tweet. The tweet literally says how Vincent D'Onofrio is to blame for Anthony Weiner's penis photo leak, and then there's a link. Vincent D'Onofrio felt that he was set up because the guy who hosts the radio show tweeted out a link that said, hey, here's how Vincent D'Onofrio is to blame for Anthony Weiner's penis photo leak. And he felt, oh, the article's from 2011. It's right when it happened. Okay. Right. When did he tweet that out? Right at the same time. Is this, oh, the tweet's from 2011. I'm sorry, I thought that was tweeted this week. Okay. No, tweet's from 2011. So that's... Oh, okay. That's, that's probably why. why he feels like he was set up. Okay. There's nothing in the editing of the video... Or maybe maybe that's why he feels like he was set up. Okay. Right, right. And that's it. Like, I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't even aware of that. Yeah. So if he feels set up, I don't know how I could have taken responsibility for him feeling that he was set up. Right. But, you know, I just... Hopefully, nobody is disappointed in me anymore. Because that's really tough for me. You know, did, it, just, did it hurt your feelings? It really did. Just the fact that somebody could be just disappointed in me. Because that's, that's what I, I really want to do. It's just make Papa proud. You know oh, what I mean? you do. Yeah, I do. I, I understand. Do. That's that's my only goal in life is just to make. And I hope too 
that none of the listeners are disappointed in me because I'm here to be your voice, you know? So I don't, I don't want to disappoint any of you as somebody who is a part of the arts. Sam is a major disappointment. No, I, uh, I'm no, not no, saying no. that. Oh, thank God. No, no, I'm just reading a text from Jess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, 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 that opinion <laughs> might have some bearing on me. <laughs> but yes, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But wait, he didn't say anything. Obi didn't say anything that wasn't true. Like he said, like, I'm tired of the bullshit. Sam edited that video and... Put it but up on the. He said he's tired of the lies, but what lies? I don't know what lies. Just be specific about what lies. I don't know what lies. And then he said he didn't hear the show, so I don't know why he would be mad at the show he didn't hear. Like, if you don't, I get why you wouldn't. I don't listen to the afternoon show. I don't think you do either. No. But like, that's why. Like, if, if I when I hear that I'm being talked about on it, I listen, and then I comment on it. Sure. So like, you know that that because that's what you do. If you, I don't know what he's mad at. If you haven't heard the show. But I guess he's not mad. He's disappointed. So hopefully, hopefully, I have quelled some of that, and uh, and everybody feels better. You want to mend fences? I do. That's my my goal. That's my goal is to make sure that these these fences are back, and we're all one big proud family again. Not disappointed. I don't, I don't know. I think we're a splintered family. No. I think so. I don't want to hear that. Oh, I think so. I don't want to hear that. I think about it so much and I care about it so much. You know you what do. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spent all my time like thinking about that. I'm, that's that's where a lot of my energy goes. So I really want to make sure. It's not like I don't I could care less. Like I really, really want to make sure that everything's okay. Because it'll just help me sleep better at night. Yeah, no, you know I know what I mean? Yeah, you know You're what probably I mean. the same way. It's absolutely. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you know. Hope we're good standing. <laughs> good. All right, so should we take a break? Yeah. What's the matter? Did you did you pass oh, gas while I was talking? I did. I was so sad at all this <laughs> disappointment going around. <laughs> yeah. Your body was disappointed it was. in what was inside and had to release it. Get rid it. of it. <laughs> yeah, get, get rid, rid of that it. disappointment. <laughs> I didn't realize that tweet went out. Yeah. That's pretty uh, yeah. So I mean, even I know though it's technically the article that's fine. title. I don't we think there's anything wrong it with it. I'm not like saying like, oh, why would anybody do that? But that's you could understand what happened there. Yeah, I get where the where where communication went awry. So there's no lies. No. Okay. I don't think it was because yeah, I don't think it was in the kid that you had edit the video in 2011. I'm pretty sure that that wasn't that wasn't at the uh, at the heart of the case. All right. So I go pee. All right, you go do that. We'll kiss. And uh, we won't do that. I'll probably leave the room and hope for with some me? of the gas. Nope. Do you smell it? Yeah. <laughs> so I'd like I'd like some of the gas to get out of here. Uh, D bag, you stay in the room. That's right. You sit in you it. Sit in Think it. about it. Yes. Yeah. Learn from it. And we'll be back right after this. 